And we are underway in Harrison, New Jersey. Gotham and the All Black Kits. O.L. Reign and the All Whites. You look at these two teams. The last time these two met was in the first round of the 2020 Challenge Cup in Free Bensidi's first match for O.L. Reign. That game ended in a one-to-one -one draw. Both these teams looking for three points as both have come off losses. It's going to be important to see which one of these teams gets off to the front foot. They have both had trouble scoring so far this regular season. And both coming off losses, 1-0 losses. Obviously, O.L. Reign to Washington with that own goal uh, from Megan Rapino, uh, which was that back post mix, obviously didn't mean to. And then in Gotham, obviously playing Portland in that loss, 1-0 as well. Barnes will play it forward to the top of the area, headed away by Flores. Fishlock will give it a shot, and that's going to go up into the stands. You do look at Gotham FC, though. You look at their two clean sheets in the regular season. Didi Harchich, meanwhile, played the entirety of the Challenge Cup. She had three clean sheets in that one, so she does have experience here for Gotham FC this season already. Also has had a save of the week back in the Challenge Cup. Cujo will play it out wide. Didasco just named to the team of the month. She'll stride forward. She'll give it a go with the right foot in an easy scoop. And that's one of the highlights for Gotham is this back line. I mean, let's touch on Friedman, Lewandowski, and Didasco. Obviously, Flores just coming into this lineup. They have been rock solid, especially that or center back par partnership. They've been brilliant, really leading by example, getting stuck in, getting stuck into big tackles. And it's shown they've only had one goal scored against them already in this season. Brooks to McNabb. McNabb will inch forward. She'll look to play it wide to Barnes, the captain. Fishlock in midfield. Fishlock also named to Team of the Month. Kaylin Sheridan as well, but she is away with Canada. Between these two teams, 11 players will be going on the international FIFA break. As Huerta has it in the channel. Hammond dispossessed on the ball. Purse. That one takes a ricochet off Cruz. Cruz with one of the two goals this season for O.L. Reign, the other one being Megan Rapino. Both those coming in the victory against Portland. Didasco will play this all the way back. A slow roller to Harchich. Lavelle was in the area for O.L. Reign. Meanwhile, for O.L. Reign, just the one win. Gotham FC with the one win as well. That one coming in the season opener right here at Red Bull Arena against Houston. Lone goal scorer in that was Midge Purse. Cujo gets the return pass. I'm talking with Frey Coombe about the game against Portland. She was talking about how they had good elements in our ability to pressure defensively, pleased with the elements that they also had in their possession, but they really need to be more consistent, and that is what they're looking for tonight, as well as creating better chances. That's one thing she talked about, is capitalizing and making the goalkeepers have to work for their saves. I think that's one of the reasons why she's put Purse back into that front-running position, had her at fullback the other week, and was good, but wasn't. Flores on the overlap with the left, and that one just off target. And already this is a great attack from Gotham, obviously picking this one up, and I was just touching on the fact, putting Purse into that front three lineup, great half turn here, switches the point of attack, finds Lloyd just coming off of that false nine roll, playing into the midfield, great little touch and overlapping run from Flores, just gets this one on her left foot, up and over, but great start for Gotham. Purse. She'll play it to the center of the field. Skrosky. Cujo trying to elude Lavelle. Anamana will drop it back. Didasco. Good battle there between Cujo and Fishlock, and Fishlock will come up with the ball. Go, 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 go. 
Brooks back to that center back spot. We have also seen her play in the six this year. As this played all the way four, but offside flag is up. Great move there at Harachic. Represents Bosnia and Herzegovina as her dad was an Olympic bobsledder. Long ball over the top, headed away. Lavelle in her second start with O.L. Reign. So many dynamic pieces on this O.L. Reign team. It's only a matter of time between before they're able to piece it together and find more goals on the season. And the additions that they're adding uh, soon to come to OL Reign. But one key to for tonight, obviously, the addition of Rose Lavelle. We saw last game what she adds, taking on two, three players, popping out to the right-hand side, popping out to the left-hand side, the ability with her ball at their feet. And here is Lavelle right on cue. Plays it out wide, looking for Rapino With that left, and that one takes a ricochet off the post and covered up by Horacic. Great attempt there by Rapino, but just could not sneak it through the inside post. And you can see Megan Rapino giving a thumbs up to the, the goal post. Cheers for that one. But again, this starts with Rose Lavelle living in the biggest space in the midfield. She is so dangerous in this part. And just the pace that she can attack with the ball at her feet. It's this pass, though. It is perfectly set up for Megan Rapino. Gets it right onto the right foot. So she doesn't even have to take a touch. And R Megan Rapino just hitting this one off the bar early on in this game. It's been busy at both ends. Six goals in the 2019 World Cup. Golden boot, golden ball. The most she has scored in her NWSL career is 12. That one back in 2017. Andy Freeman now will set up. Freeman is really slotted into that center back position for Freya Kuma as she'll play it forward. Fishlock will drop it back to Brooks. Barnes giving chase, and that's going to find its way out past the touch line. Anamana going up against her former team was with O.L. Reign. Gonna have to move back for another throw. Both teams really trying to set the tempo here early on in the match. No one sitting back, both pressing pretty high up the pitch. And then on restarts, starting the ball quickly, whether that's a throw in, whether it's from the ground, really trying to play one two touch football and move both sides of these teams. McNabb should go out wide. Barnes will play it forward, looking for Rapino. Rapino has numbers in the air, and that's where she'll go to Pruitt. And Harachitz once again will just smother this ball. And Megan Rapino lively, eight minutes in, one off the post, and then a brilliant ball into the box. So really important for Leah Pruitt that gets a start over King tonight. Fishlock turning away. Can she be really clinical in that box? Can she make those darting runs? Because the ball will come. When you have the service from Rapino, Rose Lavelle, even Jess Fishlock, you've got to make those darting runs front post, back post, and across the goalkeeper. Now we'll play it out wide into the channel. Where it's up. On the end line. Back post. Headed up by Rapino. Once again, Harachich having a dive on top of the ball to prevent anything from happening with a rebound attempt. at Harchich getting the start for Kaylin Sheridan. When talking with Freya Coombe, she's talked about how both these keepers have been phenomenal and really the depth that they have at that keeper position and the pushing that happens between the players and really the competition that goes on day in and day out and the great environment that those keepers bring, not just Sheridan and Harchich, but all four of the keepers that are on the roster. And I think both can be said on both ends of the pitch. The, the starting goalkeepers from both these sides are world-class goalkeepers. You're only going to get better when you train day in and day out with them. Purse 
nearly dispossessed of the ball. She played in with the right foot, and that one right into the belly of Ella Dederick. Dederick getting her first start out of Washington State, where she had plenty of success. All-time wins leader in Cougar history with 53. She also had 29 shutouts for Washington State, which is second best all time. Of course, he had the unfortunate injury in late last week's game late for Karen Bardsley in the 86th minute where Dederick had to come on. Where it's up. Well, the bell right in front. That's where she goes. Just pass. And Pruitt couldn't get there as that one was knocked out by Skrosky. Great run there for O.L. Rain. Just could not finish. And how about this for a pass once again? Megan Rapino putting this on a platter. What a great run down this right hand side. She gets her head up, doesn't take that extra touch. Roosevelt just misses this. And these are those runs that I was talking about. Can you drive to that back post and just try to get across that last defender? This is a brilliant ball into the box. The ball by Rapino up top to McNabb. Barnes steps to her right, plays it out wide. Huerta. Hammond sends it forward. Didasco clears it away. Lee, she'll push it up to midfield to Purse. Purse backing up is Hammond. First to in line, crosses, and a corner kick now coming for Gotham. And this is a tactical adjustment that we're seeing here, bringing Purse over to this left-hand side. Usually we've seen her uh, down this right-hand side, whether it's in that fullback position or in that winging position. But again, bringing her over to the left-hand side. So instead of going at someone like a Lauren Barnes, they put her to go 1v1 against Madison Hammond. So can Hammond be defensively sound going against someone like Purse here tonight? Dasko will set up. The service headed down, and that one finds its way into the left corner for the first goal coming from Ifioma Automanu and Gotham FC. for a set piece opportunity straight from the training ground. Anamanu up and over and puts this one away. One nil early on for Gotham. Again, she has been a threat. And someone like Anamanu playing in that three front or the two set piece, perfectly weighted pass. This is brilliant. Two defenders up in front of her, but she gets up and over in that power to knock this one down on the ground. So the goalkeeper misjudges this one, goes far back post. No defender on this back host to help clear this one off the line again. And this is a great tactical goal that you've just scored on Imanu. Hats off to you 13 minutes in. On Imanu with the goal against her former club to give Gotham the lead 1-0 over O.L. Reign. And this is why football is such a funny game and one of the world's best. We're just seeing two opportunities at one end for Rain, one off the post from Megan Rapino, and then that miss one back post. Lavelle, Rapino. Offside flag though is up. This game screams goals to me tonight. It really does. You already see the, the partnership between Rose Lavelle and Megan Rapino down that left-hand side. That will be scary the more they build with that with this team, with the likes of Jess Fishlock, just feeding them balls. Huerta down this right-hand side, her ball distribution it is clinical, so can they keep building on, off of, on that? And then when it comes to set pieces, just do better defensively. Mark up the, the big, strong, tall players in the box, the Lloyds, the Anamanus. Karchich, dangerous move back there, but able to sidestep Pruitt. That was one of the things that the coaches talked about was creating more opportunities. And here might be another one for Anamanu, looking for her second of the night. Puts it over and just goes right in the frame. Oh. 
This is as good as it gets for a buildup. This starts back at the 18-yard box. A brilliant buildup play down this left-hand side. Tiki tackle football, touch in, touch out. But it's this run from Anumanu. Brilliant weighted pass in behind this back four. Just goes around that fullback. But it's this run. It is so clever. Splitting between that center back, center back channel. And just the knowledge for her to get behind this back four and just miss hits this one and it goes wide. Ray Coon talked about getting better at creating chances and getting teams disorganized. We really want to test the goalkeepers tonight, and right now, Gotham FC with a couple of great chances. Obviously, the one for the goal by Anamanu. Lee dispossesses the ball, plays it to Lloyd. Lee now will work her way inside. Cujo. Anamanu going right at Barnes. Good tackle. Play it out wide to Didasco. Didasco sends it in. Takes a ricochet. Derek is able to knock it out of play past the end line. And these next 10 minutes are going to be so important for Derek. Obviously stepping in and she can get the job done. Obviously getting scored on in the first 15 minutes. That comes to confidence. So can she switch her mindset? This one. Obviously Anamanu starting this one. Rolling this one outside. Ball comes into the box. Takes an unlucky deflection. Derek picks this one up, so can she keep building off of this? Didasco. Towards the six, headed down. Lorraine having issues clearing as it comes out to Lee. And now Gotham will just recycle back to midfield and reset. Freeman comes near side to Flores. Flores looking for Lloyd. Brooks right there in the perfect position. Near steal there by Anumano. She's been all over the field tonight for Gotham FC. Lavelle will play it out wide to Rapino. Gotham FC, they are a tough team defensively, have just allowed one goal on the season. Ray Coombe just talked about how the defensive unit is really taking pride in every day in their practice, in their performance, striving to keep those clean sheets. Already have two here in the regular season, had three in the Challenge Cup. And she talked about the addition of Allie Long as well as Jennifer Cujo in the midfield, how they're able to connect lines and help on that build up. And I think defensively as well, bringing someone in like an Ali Long, that's why they're so defensively tough to break down because she, what she does in front and what she's helped with Cujo as well, just Cujo not getting into sloppy tackles. We haven't really seen that in this regular season. And it comes down to be playing beside someone like an Ali Long that is leading by example and, and is telling you where to go early so you're not having to make those sloppy tackles. You look at Cujo too, a player that was picked up in the expansion draft by Racing Louisville. Gotham had a trade back for us as headed away by Brooks. Long. We'll go out wide. Sit to the back post, and that's going to go over everyone. To nothing our score between Gotham FC and OL Reign. Goal coming from Ifioma Anamanu in the 13th minute. Ujo playing fast. Hurst wasn't ready, but is able to get on the ball. Purse with the left looking for Anamanu. And that one just sails overhead. Hammond now trying to track it down. Anamanu able to win the ball at the touchline. Lee, out wide, Flores. And Anomanu came to play today. I mean, not only the goal, but you can just tell the confidence getting back into this starting 11 and then getting that early on goal. You can see the work she's doing defensively. And this is what helps players gain that confidence and gain that goal scoring threat. You can already see what she's produced in just 20 minutes. 
Gotham really that surprise in the challenge cup. They fell to Portland in that final on PKs. Carly Lloyd scoring the only goal in the game for Gotham. You look at earlier in the year, Mitch Purse getting the game winner against Houston. Now want to start the season off. As Huerta, as we'll have the whistle. Also add in the first two games, the back-to-back -back shutouts by Kaylin Sheridan. Sheridan, of course, one of those members of the team of the month as Lloyd charges forward. And a corner coming for Gotham FC. Dasco will jog over to the ball. Dasco also a team of the month member with 60% of her tackles and 83% passing rate. Right footed ball, played towards the top of the area. Anamanu. Looks right with her. Cujo. Now Gotham being able to possess the ball here against O.L. Reign. Caprice Didasco credited with the assist on the Anumana goal. Freeman. This played that, and now Cruz looking to play it up to Huerta, and that one just a little too much weight on the pass. Purse goes to Lloyd. Lloyd at the end line. Barnes. Now Barnes will play back to Derek. Derek, when talking with Farid Benstidi, talks about how she's been training hard and really very focused on getting better and improving. But really one of the things that he's excited about is her getting more time here to become a better keeper as Didasco will now move forward for Gotham FC. Lloyd loops it forward for Anamano. And offside flag is up. And it's this movement from Carly Lloyd just popping off into this little gap in, in between that midfield unit and the back four, which allows that space. Yes, she is caught offline, uh, offside on Amanu, but it's brilliant because it sucks that defender out and it allows that gap. You can see the gap in between that center back channel. Jess Fishlock just doesn't get over enough. So if Anamonu stays on side, this is a great goal scoring opportunity. But I love that double movement from Lloyd and Anamanu. Barnes, the captain, plays to Fish, excuse me, to Rapino. Purse sends it across, but Brooks right there to send it right away. Long trying to avoid Lavelle. Lavelle wins the ball. Lavelle has Rapino to her left. Lavelle with some room to work with. Lavelle to that left foot and stopped by Harchich. How good is Rose Lavelle? I mean, picks this one up over on the right-hand side. It's this movement from Megan Rapino, Sucks this back line across, and, and the defenders get caught in this half mindset, and Rose Lavelle just takes it with the power and the ability with the ball at her feet. Just doesn't get enough power behind it because of the distance she had to travel with the ball. Lavelle, the bronze ball winner in 2019. As this is played back. Hard to believe that the reinforcements that O.L. Reign's gonna have in just, you think, a little bit over a month, and how this team is just gonna get stronger on all areas of the pitch as Lloyd will play it out wide. Didasco pushing up. 
Vidasco plays it in. Anumana once again. Purse. Turns away. Flores. And now Gotham will just reset. And tripped up is Sofia Huerta. And just looking at this chance with Roosevelt, look at this defensive work, just the pressure, the backtracking she does on Ali Long, and then the pace she can travel with the ball at her feet. This is extremely difficult. Not a lot of players in the world can travel this fast while dribbling. Again, doesn't get enough power behind it because of the distance she's had to travel and the work rate she's had to get behind. But the partnership moving forward in that final third with her and Megan Rapino is going to be dangerous. And here's a chance for Rapino. Flag is down. Rapino. Lavelle, and that one just wide of that near post. And it's the patience from Megan Rapino and Rose Lavelle, that partnership that I was talking about. Yes, they play on the national team together, but to bring it back and do it with different players that aren't within your squad, and we are seeing it here. Megan Rapino down this left-hand side, cuts one, cuts twice, and then again, instead of trying to fire the shot, finds Rose Lavelle, and it's that quick change of feet. You see it from that left foot to that right foot, gets the shot up and just goes wide. Well, of course, coming over from Man City in the WSL, Previously with the Washington Spirit, began her career with the Boston Breakers as this is played out wide. Flores looking to go inside, and McNabb will play it away to the touchline. Flores looking to chip this over and then a late whistle and free kick here coming for Gotham FC in a dangerous position. You see the trust that Freya Kuma has put in Jennifer Kuja as she has been taking more of these free kicks, although it looks like Caprice Didasco now will come over. Dasko. Barnes sends it away. Now Lavelle, always dangerous, dribbling the ball forward. Hammond. Lavelle nearly knocked off the ball, but controls. Fishlock will come outside to Brooks. Rose Lavelle has just been so fun to watch. I mean, even here tonight, just that partnership with her and Megan Rapino. But then again, in the midfield, she is isolated. She's by herself. She wins that ball, and she's going 1v4 against the back line. And instead of continuing with that run, she cuts it to her right foot, comes across the pitch. The pass just doesn't get through. But again, she is just so smart. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the best player in the world, hands down for me. Visit nwcellshop.com to find your club's latest gear. Support your favorite NWCL club team with the latest kits, tees, hats, novelties, and more. Kaylin, 30 minutes into this one. Really for you on Gotham side, what has stood out to you the most so far? Anamanu. She's been brilliant. She's been class, whether it's down the left-hand side, the right-hand side. You, you've seen Purse switch over, start on this left-hand side. Now she is on the right. But she has been all over the place, not only on the ball, but just her vision and awareness off the ball, making very clinical runs. 
I'd love to see Ali Long live on the ball a little bit more and help deal defensively with the runners of Roosevelt and Megan Rapino because they're starting to find a lot of success in this game. Uh, so for a player like Long, she knows them both very well. So just helping deal defensively and knock out Rose Lavelle and not allow her time and space on the ball. Just looking at this set piece opportunity, extremely difficult. She goes up and over, knocks this one to turf to then get the bounce to go back post. She, she's, she's well away from the goal. So to uh, gain that power again, to get up and over, to put them up one nil, well-deserved goal for Manamanu. One to zero is the score here. And today's earlier game, Chicago taking down North Carolina by a score of one to nothing. Rachel Hill getting the lone goal in that game. And then later on tonight, we'll have Portland and Racing Louisville. That one will kick at 10.30 and tomorrow. More NWSL action as Kansas City will host Houston and Washington will take on the top seed right now on the table, the Orlando Pride. Fishlock will go outside to Rapino. Didasco right there. Played away, but only as far as Fishlock. Cruz. Costa Rican will bring it back. Fishlock brings it to the right. Lavelle. Huerta. Hammond. He can go back outside, but Flores right there. And now Lloyd wins the ball back for Gotham. Boy, good battle there between her and McNabb. Fishlock with a diagonal ball, looking for Rapino. Archie just have to been ready tonight with the likes of Lavelle and Rapino getting a couple opportunities earlier. The best one coming from Rapino that hit the far post on a chance early in this game. Fishlock. That one takes a deflection and now Flores will send it back. Hammond, Lavelle, chipping it over, looking for Pruitt. Pruitt, just a mistouch there. Great setup by Lavelle, just cannot finish. Pruitt, a proven goal scorer in college, began at San Diego State as a freshman before transferring to USC. On a championship, her rookie season with North Carolina, where she scored a pair of goals in the regular season. high into the air. Purse. Purse working her way inside. Long. She'll just play it back to the center of the field. Lee, we're gonna play it to Anumanu. And last touch by Barnes, another corner coming for Gotham FC. Well, that's how they got their first goal. Now they're looking to make it two. This is where Gotham have really come alive, just playing in between those gaps. And this is Anumanu, again, talking about her, whether she's playing in that front running position, down the left, down the right hand side. She's been brilliant here tonight, but just the floods of pressure. I do want to touch on Huerta, just coming down and doing that defensive work down this right hand side and really helping out Hammond. She's been great tonight as well. The service. Lloyd. That one blocked by Fishlock. Fishlock, May team of the month. Six tackles in the month of May for a win. Also 74% completion rate. 
always active in the midfield. Just one of those players where you can never slow her down. Fishlock. McNabb. Uh, McNabb with more area to move up. Gives it right over to Cujo. Patience now from Gotham. Nice clever pass there by Lee to find Anamano. He gives it right back, pushing it forward. Lloyd giving chase and Hammond able to track back. Nice build up there from Gotham. Hammond simply had to play that away. And Rangers need to be careful in that transition, whether it's Shirley Cruz, Jess Fishlock, just sitting in, helping deal with those two center backs, because Lauren Barnes likes to get forward. Madison Hammond down this right-hand side is starting to get a little bit forward. And with the pace of Gotham up front with Anamanu in purse and their ability and awareness off the ball, they are dangerous and clinical in this final third, so they need to hold a central midfielder back. Fifth corner of the night for Gotham FC. Busy night for Caprice Didasco. Didasco towards the back post, headed up. Lloyd on the fault, and that one deflected up front, takes a ricochet and goes across the end line. Well, we've seen a few different times tonight where an OL Rain player has been in the perfect position to get, at least get their body in front to stop some of these shots like this one right here from Carly Lloyd. And you can see this ball in from Didasco. Good ball, back of the box. Ali Along goes in big and strong, and it's a bad clearance from Jess Fishlock. Does not connect with the ball. And it's Carly Lloyd that's sitting in that 18-yard box, and lucky that they did get a deflection because Lloyd is not missing from that opportunity. Didasco, high arguing ball, looking for Anamanu, heads it down. Freeman, play it all the way back to Harachich. Purse going right at him and gets by her. Purse inching forward. Onomanu. And that one stopped by Derek. And you can see Carly Lloyd having a word with her. She wanted that one cut back across her into that 18 yard box. But Anumanu and Purse have really added to this attacking third. Obviously, Purse coming from that fullback position last game in that 1-0 loss to Portland, now moving higher up the pitch. And they've been an absolute handful, whether it's down the left-hand side or the right-hand side, they both switch positions here only 38 minutes into the game. Purse, who able to track back and win the ball back for O.L. Reign. Barnes. Barnes now over 150 appearances with O.L. Reign. I believe it's 152, where she started 148 of those. First player to do that all with the same club. Christine Nairn for the Houston Dash was the first player to reach 150, but now has company with Lou Barnes, who has the ball right at her feet. Fishlock. Cruz. Anamana looking for Lloyd, finds her. Purse is ahead. 
Lee. Back to Lloyd, great pass there. And though offside, flag was up. That whistle came a little late on that one. And this comes down to good defensive work with that midfield. I touched on it earlier. Obviously, a bad giveaway from Rose Lavelle. But it's Cujo and Long just sitting in, helping deal and congest that midfield. And then this build-up play down this right-hand side. Carly Lloyd just getting caught offside. But it's that quick transition that Gotham is so good in. Fishlock into the channel. Through it. Going out here for Flores after winning the ball and plays it right in. We've seen Gotham try to go quickly throughout this game. Dangerous pass back and now Harchich will come up. Huerta was being a pest there for Freeman. Anumanu. Purse. Purse at a steep angle, brings it to the right. Great help there by Cruz. Anumanu, she's been busy here in the first half, trying to get around Barnes, stumbles to the ground. Where's the stoppage for? Cruz. So Miss touched and Lavelle able to get to it for O.L. Rain. Fishlock. Huerta. Griffin cuts back. Looking back, but no one coming forward as Pruitt was nearest player in the vicinity for O.L. Reign. And O.L. Reign getting good in getting good in attacking areas, but it's just that final ball, that final distribution. They just need to clean it up and be a little bit more clinical again. It's that space that I was alluding to earlier on for Gotham that they need to be careful with, that space in between that midfield unit and that back four, and we've just seen it from Jess Fishlock and Rose Lavelle. Look at these teams right now in the middle of the table, five teams with four points. Both clubs looking for their second win of the season. Lee. Skrosky. Great win there by O.L. Rain and now Rapino will make her way forward to Fishlock. Fishlock back to Rapino. Rapino with the left and that one right at Harchich. Series all time with eight wins. Gotham, though, has been successful in the last three against OL Reign. Now looking to make it four straight. Anamanu tripped up, and that's going to bring out the whistle on Lauren Barnes. And the fluidity of Gotham in this match, this first 45 minutes, has been brilliant. I mean, players moving for one another, filling in the most dangerous spaces, and, and just that movement up top, whether it's Anamanu, Lloyd, or Purse, all 
interplaying with each other. Kujo just sitting in, Lee joining the attack as well. And OL Rainer having a difficult time picking up these front four runners. Dasco into the spot. Flores. Now Rapino will send it up towards midfield. Skrosky going out wide to Didasco. Cujo. Flores racing inside. Cujo will line it up. That one blocked at the top of the area by McNabb. Good positioning once again from the back line of O.L. Reynes. McNabb is the player slow to get up. And making a return home. Grew up in Montville, New Jersey. say that this was deflected out of play and should be a throw for them but our referee tonight Joshua Encarnacion will say no Encarnacion experience here in the NWSL as well as the USL one game already in the books today with Chicago getting the win over North Carolina by a score of one to zero of course, later on tonight, we have Portland taking on Racing Louisville. That one will be at 10.30 Eastern. And there is the whistle to end the first half. Gotham will go into line. It's just in that transition. Can they be more clinical in that final third? Megan Rapino had a couple opportunities. Rose Lavelle had opportunities. And Jess Fishlock starting to have that late third midfield run. So I'd love for Pruitt just to wake up a little bit in that final third, whether it's the run, whether it's popping off, and just being more of a link player. You look at this Gotham FC squad, fewest goals allowed in the NWSL with just the one as Purse makes her way to the end line. Sends it to the six. Lee, back post ball, and that one taken down by Dederick. Carly Lloyd was right there looking to head that one on, but a big stop from the first year keeper. And this is great stuff from Dederick coming out big and strong, obviously getting scored on in that first 45 minutes and coming in for Barnsley that obviously took that knock last week. So again, just to build her confidence and instill confidence in this back four early on in the second half is so important. Lavelle, working away forward, plays it outside Huerta, Huerta. Looking for Pruitt headed on, and that one will find its way wide now. Rapino tracks it down. Fishlock lines up. Fishlock disappointed with that attempt as she takes a seat. Hopefully, nothing wrong with her. Fishlock making her 125th appearance, all with OL Reign. And it's Rose Lavelle down this right-hand side. Huerta, I touched on her in the first 45 minutes, her distribution, and I, and I wanted Pruitt to wake up in the box, and this is what she has done. I mean, getting on the end of this, yes, it doesn't come off, but it's a great run, just pulling off her last defender. Jess Fishlock can't go. Someone like maybe a Danny Weatherholt will come into this midfield, help solidify this midfield, add this spark, and just add the ability to get forward. So Pruitt with an opportunity there as Fishlock will now head off the field, and hopefully nothing series for her. Fishlock, of course, to represent Wales. There you see for Edith Pinstidi as Weatherholt will come on. So Weatherholt brings a little bit different dynamic to this midfield for O.L. Reign, but also could be a little bit of a jump start that O.L. Reign needs here. Disappointed to see that here just two minutes in to the second half. Hey, 
great look at Weatherholt. She's not afraid to get down and make some challenges as came over from Orlando last season, beginning now in her second season with OL Reign. Freeman. Long, former OL Reign player as she'll play it up. Purse. Looking for Anumanu. Opportunity here for Gotham. Anumanu. The chances that Anumanu has had, she's been dangerous on both sides of the field. And they're giving the thumbs up. Missed opportunity, though, for Gotham. She's been fantastic in this match. She's been all over the pitch defensively and all over the pitch in that offensive third. But Ali Long, this is a splitting pass. But it's this turn and touch from Purse. Spins her defender. And it's just that soft little touch that she caresses with her right foot to then slot in on Amanu. She puts this fantastically onto this unrunning of Anumanu in this final third and just doesn't get it off. Anumanu with a lone goal in this one, coming in the 13th minute against her former club as Long will try to turn away from Weatherholt. Drops it back for Freeman. Lee. Didasco. Purse just on the edge of the box. And that one should be last touch by Cruz. We'll have another corner here for Gotham FC. This will be the seventh of the night. Back post, headed away. Cruz. Didasco. Lloyd back to Lee. Keep it in, but dispossessed by Lavelle and played out by Didasco. And this is why Didasco has gotten into that player of the month full team. She's brilliant defensively, extremely difficult to break down. She's got the pace, but then adds in that final third, playing alongside Freeman and Lewandowski. So that was last touch by Lavelle. Freeman in the circle. Through it. We're going to go outside Huerta. Huerta, five or more goals every season in the NWSL. And Flores will play it back. Harchic. Harchic, three clean sheets in the Challenge Cup game this start tonight with Sheridan being away with Canada. For Gotham FC looking for their third clean sheet here this regular season. They have back to back to start out the year. The win against Houston and then in the second game in the draw against Chicago. Fell last week to Portland with Crystal Dunn getting the goal in that. Right back to McNabb. Cruz. Back to Hammond. Hammond, second year player out of Wake Forest. First indigenous player to play in the NWSL. Cruz. Here's Barnes. Looking for Rapino. The Dasco right there, and this will be a corner kick for OL Reign. 
for Rand. This will be their third of the night. Another area where Megan Rapino is so dangerous whipping these balls in. Into the six. And that one lands on the top of the netting. Great look there by O.L. Rain, just unable to finish. And it's been really the story of O.L. Rain in this first 53 minutes of the game. Opportunities in front of the net, whether it comes from free play or set piece opportunities. I'll be interested to see when they go to their bench, when they bring someone maybe like a Balser or a King on, just to add some energy into this front line, really get at this Gotham back line because they've been very good defensively. They've shut down the tight spaces, they've condensed the space, they've dropped their midfield, and they've really nullified Rose Lavelle in this game. Didasco. Anamanu, Lee, and that one off of McNabb and another corner here for Gotham. So Gotham continue to create set piece opportunities. Of course, their lone goal coming in the 13th minute off a corner assisted by Caprice Didasco to Anamanu. Bell, always dangerous when she has space to work with. Try to get around Freeman and coming back to help was Allie Long. And that's that defensive work I was talking about early in the 45. We weren't seeing it from Long or Cujo, just getting tight and numbers in and around Rose Lavelle and Megan Rapino. Didasco, back post. That's going to sail over everyone as Purse looks to track it down on the far touch line. Pino going outside to Lavelle. Lavelle into the area. Lavelle with the shot, that one denied, and then played out past the end line. Great stop there by Harachich. And this is great goalkeeping from Harachich. Just keep this score one nil. Again, unlucky from Freeman. She gets touch, touch tight against Huerta. This one comes off, finds Megan Rapino. Rapino first thought, can I play forward? Can I find my front runners of Rose Lavelle driving down this right hand side? And I love this from Rose Lavelle. Just slows down the play, gets us onto her left foot. And it is a huge save in a clinical moment. Another big stop for Harachich as she keeps the score one to zero. Again, we've seen O.L. Rain have opportunities from Lavelle as well as Rapino, but not able to get anything by Harachich as of yet. Purse. Lays it back. That one deflected away. Rapino now on the far side of the field. Looking to connect with Huerta as Didasco will play this back to Harachich. Lavelle, here's Pruitt looking for Lavelle, and offside flag is up. For you to see now Lavelle in the second game with O.L. Reyna as we take a look back at this replay. She just adds so much. She gets on the ball deep in that midfield, but then you also see her make these late third midfield runs. Yes, she gets caught offside, but naturally she just opens up the game. What I do like is Gotham have come out in the second 45 and have really nullified her. Long starting to sit a little bit tighter. Freeman and Lewandowski starting to get a little bit more aggressive off the front and getting tackles into her.
Pruitt trying to shield away Lloyd. Good job, Leah. Brooks. Brooks in her second year with O.L. Reign after coming over from Houston. Did play with O.L. Reign earlier in her career. So not her first time with the team as we will now have a substitution. It looks like Shirley Cruz is going to come off and Bethany Balser will come on as well as Angelina, the Brazilian. Angelina born in New Jersey. And Leah Pruitt will be the other player coming off for O.L. Reign. Also the former Rookie of the Year getting her first touch. Pokes it forward, looking for Huerta, but right there is Jennifer Cujo. Good hurdle there by Purse to get by the defender. Purse. And another corner here for Gotham. This is the ninth of the night. And Gotham really starting to grab hold of this game, especially with the likes of Purse, Anumanu, Lloyd, and this midfield. It comes down to this midfield. They've tactically just made a tiny bit of an adjustment and have really started to lead in this second 45 minutes. Great looking calls for Pony, who we might get to see here in this game tonight as Didasco sets up. Swiped away. And now cleared away by Rapino. Lee. Anumanu. Flores. Cujo. Off and not force anything, trying to create a little space. Played to the back post, headed away by Brooks. Good setup there by Gotham, but Brooks in the perfect position. Balser, we're going to give it right back to Angelina. Both these two had just subbed on. Angelina looking for Lavelle Didasco. Now we'll play it to safety. These are two great substitutes coming into this match, already adding a spark that this side needed. Angelina knocked off the ball for a moment by Freeman. Angelina, one of those 11 people that have been called up for the FIFA break as she represents Brazil. Big question though being what will happen with Karen Bardsley with that injury as this is played in and then headed up. Balser sends it back, looking for Rapino as Didasco will now play it up. Weatherholt. Didasco, a busy night tonight for Gotham FC when you talk about corners and just all the work she's doing on the defensive end for Gotham. Angelina. Barnes cuts inside, gets by Anamanu. Lupino from Lavelle. And Lavelle will earn O.L. Reign a corner. 
and Angelina dictating the tempo. You can see her in that midfield, just that quick play, moving it from right side to left side, left hand side. And I think that's that spark that we were missing from this OL reign. They came out strong in that first 10, 15 minutes, had numerous opportunities, and then Gotham started to grab hold of this match. Rapino to the back of the area. Angelina, that one denied by Long. Angelina into the area, to the spot, looking for Weatherholt. Angelina back to Weatherholt and deflected off the back of the heel of Lavelle. What an impact, though, Angelina's made since she has stepped onto the field. She's made a massive impact, and it's not only what she's doing centrally. I mean, she's now rolling outside on this right-hand side, putting good balls into the cross. Danny Weatherhold just doesn't get enough on this one. Can't connect, and then obviously this one just taking a deflection off Rosabelle in traffic. Seen some better movement here by O.L. Reign. Again, creating the chances. And it's that movement, though, the bringing those players off the bench to add that energy. It was very static in the midfield. Couldn't break down this Gotham side because defensively they were extremely sound, dropping numbers back, forcing O.L. Reign to play wide and not through. So it's that quick movement, that quick change of pace, and then also that ball movement, that one-two touch football. You look at Angelina and the impact that she's had tonight with OL Reign. She's the first Brazilian to sign with OL Reign. Current U20 captain for Brazil. Just turned 21 though, so now looking to make her mark with the national team with players like Dabinha and Marta, who obviously, obviously are well known here in the NWSL as well throughout the world. And just the greatness that they bring. Maybe she can be the next great Brazilian. Rapino. Weatherholt plays it out wide. Hammond. This one looped in. Angelina. Hammond. Lavelle trying to chip it over, and that one swiped away once again by Harchich. And this is what happens when you give those players time and space in the midfield. You could see tactically Gotham switch that at halftime, and now obviously when fatigue starts to set in, you naturally just can't gain that space and get pressure in and around players like Rose Lavelle. You can see Long and Cujo just dropping a little bit too deep onto that back four and having to make a big save to keep them in this game. Archie has been active tonight, getting her first start of the regular season. Okay, no low liner. Barnes. Huerta. Good job there by Cujo winning the ball for Gotham, and that is one of the things that Freya Kuhn has talked about, is her ability to take away the ball. And now as Anamana works her way for it, she's knocked off the ball by McNabb. And Angelina is going to get the yellow card for grabbing the jersey early. And you could see Angelina knew that Anamanu was gone. She got past her with that first little clever touch and then was left 2v1 at the back. I like the tactical uh, pull from Angelina, knowing that didn't want to give away the lead in this game with just 20 minutes to go. So Paige Monahan will sub in for Sodom Lee. Monahan, another one of those players that can make an impact up front for Freya Coom. Sabrina Flores will also come off. So McCall's or Boney will come on. See McCall's or Boney back on the field. Brings more leadership to this team. That was the biggest thing that Freya Coombe talked about when she first came over to Gotham is just how vocal she is and how much she expects from her teammates. Hey, 
Anamanu. Zerboni getting her first touch. Fidasco playing it in. Freeman well up, gets the ball back for Gotham. Lloyd. And Freeman and Lewandowski in that center back role, I've been speaking about them all season long. And yes, we're early into the season, but you can see that partnership starting to grow. You can see the confidence in them as well, just stepping up and stepping into that midfield, which allows Long to stay a little bit higher and Cujo. What I do love is Zer McCall Zerboni coming back within this side. You alluded to it, what she adds is that leadership. But what she adds on the pitch is hard to replicate. She gets stuck into tackles. She's not afraid to get forward and then does the work defensively. Huerta. Balser and Cujo going at it. Balser will play it back. Angelina. She'll go outside looking for Rapino. This one on the ground and just left. <laughs> 70th minute here, one to nothing is our score between Gotham FC and OL Reign. Josh Toll and former Canadian international Kaylin Kyle with you this evening. One game already in the books here today between Chicago and North Carolina. That one with a Red Star win. And we still have one more this evening between Portland and Racing Louisville. That one will be at 10.30. Zerboni into the circle, long. Going outside, Monaghan giving chase and she's gonna run out of room. And you can see what McCall Zerboni already adds onto this side. Just that quick switch of play, the tempo, really setting the tempo on and off the ball. And like you alluded to, that leadership on the pitch for Gotham to hold out this 1-0 lead. Cujo. Monahan. Monahan trying to work her way around Hammond. Talking with Freeman Steed about Madison Hammond, just talking about the great quality she has as a defender, just getting better game by game, practice by practice. He really believes that she has the qualities to be a really good player here in the NWSL. Pino. And that one scooped up by Harachich. Every time Olo Reyna has had an opportunity, Harachich has been right in their way. The confidence that she has coming over from the Challenge Cup after three clean sheets, now into the regular season. Monahan will play this back as Fidasco will work its midfield. Zerboni. Another hole doing a good job winning the ball back for OL Reign. Rapino. 
Looking for Balser, connects, drops it back for Angelina. The Brazilian will go out wide. Balser towards the far post, and that one wide. Great look to Huerta, but Huerta sends it off frame. Angelina, since coming in, has changed how O.L. Reign is playing, picking the ball up, whether it's centrally in that midfield, down that right-hand side, down that left-hand side, been brilliant. Also coming, the substitutes just coming into this match, just adding a different side, Balser as well. I love this, just knocking it back and then pulling off of her defender. Brilliant ball into the box. Puerta just missing this one. All she had to do was let this deflect off of her. It does go wide. A perfect opportunity again for O.L. Reign to get on the scoring sheet. This is now the third time of missed opportunities in that final third. And now Elizabeth Eddy will come on for Midge Purse. So you see the purse going off now. Didasco coming back to the right side. Weatherholt turns away, gets by Monahan. Lavelle plays it right into the stomach of Cujo. Oh, well, Rain's still in control as Angelina looks for Rapino. Rapino. We can go out wide, too much weight on that pass. Looking for Madison Hammond. have the hydration break here in the second half. Gotham FC up 1-0. The goal coming in the 13th minute from Ifeoma Anamanu as we'll take a look at the upcoming schedule and what is coming here in the NWSL. We've talked about it tonight. Portland Thorns taking on Racing Louisville. And then tomorrow, two games at two. You have Kansas City taking on the Houston Dash. Washington Spirit welcome in the Orlando Pride. And then we'll have the week off back at it June 19th as North Carolina Courage will take on this OL Reign squad. So exciting couple games coming up here on Sunday as we look to close out this week. Orlando Pride right now at the top of the table with 10 points. Gotham looking to hold on for that three points to move up in what is a tight pack for the middle part of the table where we have five different teams right now with four points. Both these clubs sitting on four points so far this season. And for Gotham tonight, getting their second goal of the season coming from that woman right there, Ifioma Anamana. You look at Megan Rapino, she's had an opportunity tonight. And you look at the success that she's had against Gotham FC in her career, eight goals in her last six matches against Gotham. You have to wonder if she'll have another big one that could come up tonight against Gotham. And one thing about Megan Rapinoe is she steps up in big moments. She's a big time player and she knows how to put the ball into the back of the net. We saw early on in this first 45 minutes, all she needs is a split second, just an opportunity in and around the box. And the subs for OL Reign have added that. They've allowed the ball to get in more dangerous areas, Balser. And then you look at that midfield as well, Angelina dictating the tempo and dictating the play. So can Gotham be switched on for this next 15 minutes and not allow a goal and get out of here with three points? Well, they have allowed the fewest goals so far in the NWSL, just allowing the one goal that one coming in the loss last week to the Portland Thorns. And then tripped up his Huerta. Another one will walk by as Rapino will step back. Rapino and Olo Reyna have created chances. They've been dangerous in that final third. They've just not been able to execute and get that lone goal. Missed opportunity there for O.L. Reign. Oh, 
Arch Heat some big moments here tonight for Gotham FC. Skrowski will drop it back. Balser, Lavelle turns. Eddie sends it to the midfield, headed away by Brooks. Lupino now working her way forward. Looks like we're gonna have a free kick there. It looks like maybe a late challenge by Gotham FC on Megan Rapino. And this is just a silly challenge from Anumanu that's been brilliant in this game. Megan Rapino not in a dangerous area, and they have numbers up. They have five players behind the ball. So again, late on in this match, legs start to get heavy, the mindset starts to go. So can they just be a little bit more clinical, not give away silly set pieces moving on in this game? Opportunity here for Ola Rain. On the ground, and that one just left. That one took a couple hops and then went wide. Megan Rapino couldn't have put in a better ball. The fact that this is not into the back of the net it is wild to me. You have a perfect ball in, whipped behind this back line. Goalkeeper has no opportunity. You have two players. They just need to make more clinical runs, harder runs, get stuck in, put a body on it. All you need is a deflection for a ball like this. It's a world-class service into the box. This always swear to us, the player on the ground for OL Reign. Long will drop this back for Harchich. Plays it high into the sky. Long goes outside to Eddie. Anamano. This one off for Pino as Gotham will have a throw here in the 81st minute. And Noel Rain will be disappointed if they can't get on the score sheet and take away a point here tonight because Gotham, yes, that first, I would say, 40 minutes really took charge of this game. But OL Rain have had numerous opportunities in and around the net, four or five opportunities, one off a post, one just not being clinical enough, and late runs, Huerta missing two opportunities. So again, if this score holds up, they'll not be happy with this result. Now we'll have another sub as Zira King will come on. And off will go Huerta. When you look at this OL Reign side, and it's really still trying to figure out who's going to be those running pieces up front with. Huerta and Rapino is it going to be Balser, is it going to be King? Obviously, you have to think that when Lesomer comes over from Lyon, that's going to be a big piece coming forward as Lavelle looks for King. Barnes. Balser outside. King. Angelina. Chipping it over, looking for Rapino. 
This is a great ball and a great run from Megan Rapino. Angelina just gets her head up. She's been a handful since coming into this game. King making an, an impact straight away. It's this cheeky little chip over. She can see Megan Rapino making that run on the outside shoulder of that fullback, cutting across into the inside of that center back and just missing an opportunity, but good defending from Gotham to keep Megan Rapino out of the dangerous area. Angelina with a dangerous pull down of Lloyd. Angelina was already booked earlier. So it looks like just a warning here for the 21-year-old. And this is a ref do, doing a favor because it's the exact same card that we saw before when he went to his pocket and pulled a yellow card. Again, Angelina defensively, I touched on it when she got the first yellow card. They need to be tactically smart when you're in and around the box, especially when you're sitting on a yellow card. Lloyd getting turned. Again, this is the exact same pull down that we saw for the first yellow card. So Angelina getting very lucky that she hasn't seen red in this game. Cujo towards the six. Eddie looking for Anamanu. Looking for another chance here. King. King will leave this behind as Amber Brooks will step up. Rapino to that right foot, blocked in front. Balser back to Rapino. Rapino trying to squeeze through the two defenders, unable to get by. Monahan will play towards midfield. And now we will have another substitution as now Hokawasumi will come on for Ifioma Anamanu, who had a splendid game tonight. The lone goal coming in the 13th minute as we'll take a look back at what she has done this evening. She has had quite the success here this evening. If this score holds up, this is player of the match for me, not only because of obviously getting on the score sheet, because usually, yeah, you get the player of the match to whoever gets on the score sheet sometimes, but what she has done defensively, brilliant. But what she has added to this final third, whether it's down the left-hand side, the right-hand side, or centrally, she has been so dangerous and living in dangerous areas, taking players on, connecting passes, and really, you can see her starting to grow in confidence with this Gotham side. And now Anumano will make her way off. Goal against her former club. Her work for the night is done. Now Naho Kawasumi, a former OL Reign player, will head onto the field. Crowd letting Anamana know their appreciation for what she did tonight here in the game against OL Reign. FC looking for that second win of the season and a chance to move to seven points and move up in the standings. Long. Angelina, the player down for OL Reign. Angelina, though, able to get up as she'll try to jog this off. Hard collision there between Brooks and Zerboni. Lloyd also involved in the play.
take a little bit back at this replay of this collision. And it's a good read from Brooks, getting stuck in, obviously, does pick up the foul here. McCall Zaborn getting the worst end of it. But this is this is tactical from McCall Zerboni. This is why she's a leader on the pitch. She's trying to kill off the clock, trying to kill off this game. 1-0 up. King. Plays it outside. Hammond down the line. Balser. Lavelle. King plays it to McNabb. Weatherholt. Kasumi looking for Zerboni. And Eddie will flick this out. Chance here with a couple minutes left for OL Reign to make a last dash. Of course, we'll have a little bit of stoppage time added on. King right at the chest of Harchich. Of course, King, a proven goal scorer at NC State. Last year with Utah Royals, scored in her debut. Came over a trade in the offseason for Darian Jenkins. Jenkins, of course, now with Kansas City. Kawasumi. And we'll have six minutes of stoppage time added on, so plenty of time for OL Reign to find that equalizer, as well as Gotham to try to get a second goal and possibly seal this game. Rapino looking for some late game heroics. Rapino played it in at the six, and that one knocked away by Skrosky. Angelina clips it in, headed by King. Offside flag, though, looked to be up on Balser. And how good has Heritage been in net tonight? Made big saves, clinical saves. And again, what a great problem to have for Gotham with two fantastic goalkeepers. Again, great little touch from Rose Lavelle, knocking this one over to Megan Rapino. Megan Rapino with tons of time and space. Defenders just not able to get back. And Heritage is coming out big. Good defensive play, excuse me. I thought she made that first initial save, but it comes down to having a goalkeeper that has that vocal communication and has been making big saves all game long. Angelina going out wide, but that one too far for Lauren Barnes. possession. Angelina will go wide. Hammond. Diagonal ball. Lupino. Bending towards the back post. She had a couple of runners on that back post but could not connect with Weatherholt, and then on the far side, still going up, was King. And you feel like it's just one of those games that the OL Reign have something around the net that they just cannot put it in because they've had numerous opportunities, whether it's Megan Rapino, uh, Huerta before she went off, Rose Laval, Jess Fishlock, I mean, King even, just numerous floods of pressure and just cannot put the ball into the back of the net. Also getting back there as Heritage has to just play this out.
King flicks it on. Long just does a good job shielding off Lavelle to let this one go out of play past the end line. If the scoreline is to hold, it will be the third shutout of the season for Gotham FC. And it says a lot about Gotham. You look at the back line, the rotation in that back line, not the same back four here tonight, different goalkeepers. So it really comes down to the leadership and what they're trying to build here. Usually that counter-attacking football first thought, can we find Lloyd? And now really building up through the back line and the midfield. Lavelle. Looking for ball, sir. Angelina, and that one smothered by Harcic. Harcic had seven saves in a game against Orlando in the Challenge Cup for a clean sheet. Active tonight against a tough OL Reign attack, and she is been up to the tasks here this evening. Rapino. Rapino. One hops and Harchich right there at the six. Rapino was looking for Balser making a run. And then I already said player of the match, Anumanu, because she was brilliant, not only getting on the goals or on the goal sheet, but also the work she did in that offensive third. But I feel like Heritage could be giving her a run for her money. She's been brilliant here this evening. Brooks going over the top, looking for Balser. Pino played to the channel, but not ready for that was Balser. Pujo winning another ball for Gotham. She's been tremendous in the midfield tonight for Gotham FC. Kawasumi. Now a chance for O.L. Reign, but that pass behind Rapino. Monahan. Lloyd. Rapino. Back post, headed away by Freeman. Pino once again looking across that to Balser, but Freeman in the perfect position. And Freeman all over the pitch tonight as well, getting stuck into tackle, stepping off this back line, and great defensive shape from Gotham here tonight. Coming down to the midfield as well with Cujo Long, and when McCall Zerboni came in, they've dominated the